Hi there, Higher Running Coach Sage Canada here with a special treat. We're gonna do a little gear review here. Got this sweet new Yasol exercise bike. It's the G1 Elephant model. Full disclaimer, disclosure, I did get this bike comped. Uh, it's a great exercise bike. As I get older, as a runner, as an endurance athlete, mountain athlete, I found that it's nice to incorporate more and more non-impact training into your overall schedule. Uh, bracing the winter conditions out here in Colorado in the mountains, we have some pretty cold snowy days out, so it's nice to escape the snow and ice and freezing wind uh, and get on, have a convenient gym uh, sort of fitness activity that can not only build up your cardiovascular system, exercising on a bike, I know we have a lot of cyclists out here, um, but also in the convenience of your own home. And this model, uh, this is the G1 Elephant model, like I said, uh, super nice exercise bike. A lot of people would call it the Peloton alternative because uh, the price point is a lot more affordable. Check out the details in the description below as well as that special link and code uh, for a discount. But I uh, just want to break down some of the unique features of this indoor cycling bike design as well as the interactive 32 inch TV display screen we have here. Uh, that you could do a lot of programmed workouts, ride with a lot of really cool scenery, and really get in a nice experience in the comfort of your own home, be it your gym or office or extra bedroom, basement, garage, something like that, on a nice, quiet, and smooth exercise bike. I've always wanted an exercise bike that read out the power or the watts, uh, which this does on the screen as well, even if you're not following one of their targeted programs. But just to break down some of the design features of this bike that I really like, uh, the flywheel is nice and smooth. It's You could tell it's high quality when you start pedaling on the exercise bike here. It's got these nice adjustable foot straps here. I got my Hoka shoes on here, but uh, you could tighten that down or loosen them as you see fit. And that really helps with the upstroke uh, as you're cycling because as we know as a cyclist, it's very important uh, to be able to pull up with your hip flexors as well as push down with your quads in the pedal. Different grip positions here uh, in the saddle. You know, I got this forward grip, like a traditional road bike style, but then also get in a more aero tucked position here. You could also get out of the saddle, obviously. Um, and I don't I actually have the seat adjusted a little bit lower, um, but you could adjust the seat height as well. A lot of this is fully adjustable, uh, the seat height, as well as sliding back and forth, uh, different position from the bars. You also have an adjustment on the aero bars, uh, the bar handles, this height and how far forward it is, uh, has an adjustment knob here. As you're pedaling, if you wanna increase tension, increase your wattage, your power, uh, challenge yourself more, a simple twist of this knob here uh, will start making it uh, harder, harder resistance. Uh, you could usually push some more wattage, more power, which I like to do. But then again, if you twist it uh, counterclockwise, it reduces uh, the effort and makes it a lot easier to spin. If you want a higher cadence or something like that, you get your wattage numbers, the cadence numbers spelled out on the screen uh, during your workout. And a simple twist will adjust this tension from a scale of zero to 100 uh, is the whole range. So anywhere in there, I like spinning at about 60%. Uh, that's a good range for me when I'm trying to get uh, 90 RPM on the cadence. So the bike was pretty easy to assemble. It came in this large box. It actually came in two boxes uh, for the 32 inch screen. It came separately, but it comes with some Allen wrenches, uh, some regular wrenches and assembly with instruction manual and online videos. It was pretty straightforward, pretty simple to put together. Again, high quality materials here uh, in the design. The parts all uh, matched up well and I could tighten them down. Fits on this nice platform here. We have it on an exercise mat, but I assume you could probably put it on carpet. It would work really well on a uh, nice and stable mat, as well as having these wheels to be able to transport it. Uh, you could lift up the back and kind of wheel it around, which we move it around uh, this room quite a bit sometimes. 
It simply plugs in uh, in the back here with this adapter cord. I got it plugged into the wall, which lights up uh, the big 32 inch screen that allows for a more immersive experience. I know a lot of people in there uh, on an indoor fitness trainer uh, like this, you get really bored if you're just staring at the wall. Well, this allows you, uh, you actually activate it with an app on your uh, smartphone or smart device. Uh, and it has a really immersive experience because 32 inches of, of visual display, but also an 8-bit uh, louder sound system ingrained in there as well. So as you can see, we download the Yisoul app, Yisoul Fitness, and we could start uh, our programs right away. It syncs up with the device, with your phone. You can control the volume on your phone through the app here as well. So I'm starting one of the pre-programmed workouts. It's a fat-burning ride. Uh, nice, easy aerobic endurance, good base building uh, when I'm not running. It's good to get the heart and lungs, uh, the breathing rate up, as well as the heart rate up, get some blood flow going. Strengthen the leg muscles um, with these different challenges. And I do like to look at that power number, as well as the resistance and the RPM. But uh, you can see on the screen there, the instructor, they run you through some different routines, but you can also have a very immersive experience running in some really scenic areas, which I really enjoy also. So it's got this nice uh, water bottle holder, or I put my cell phone here as well, some energy uh, up front there, so easy access for different things you wanna put down on it there. However, besides just all the cardio programs on the exercise bike that you could do, as well as challenges that you could find within the app, we also have some weights back here uh, that we could use in some different programs. And one of my favorites, and look at how the screen rotates so we could get on the floor mat here, is some of the yoga routines. So a nice way to get through some lightweight stretching, yoga routines also built in on the nice screen there, another immersive experience for all around flexibility, mobility, and strength. All right, so there you have it. The Yasuo G1 Elephant Bike. Uh, great for fitness, building fitness without all the impact stress of running. You know me, running's my main sport, but having these alternatives and getting the heart rate up, getting the blood flow going, finding ways to get fitness and overall health uh, through the cardiovascular fitness routines, but also through the leg strength, working your leg muscles, getting out of the saddle, being challenged uh, with this great screen and the different programs uh, makes it a little bit more fun as well as getting that break from the cold weather and the darkness outside in these winter months especially, uh, but always mixing it up with this routine and a great way to challenge yourself, improve your overall health and fitness. So thanks for following along on this sponsored plug post about this nice exercise bike. Uh, check out the links below, give them a follow, Yasul Fitness. Again, I got a special code in the description also. This is the G1 Elephant. Thank you so much, hope you're doing well, and stay tuned for more Via2Max Productions.